Hi everyone. Uh, so I think everyone who's ever written or aspired to be a writer or been on a writing course or anything like that would have been told the importance of keeping a notebook at all times. But like lots of things, I think sometimes it's worth thinking about why that is. I think the thing about keeping a notebook is it's actually not so much about the stuff that you write in your notebook. It's a, I think it's about keeping alive that part of the brain that notices things, that's observant, that stores things, so that when you're reaching for a character trait or a way that people behave or some, a little quirk or something like that, they're, they're kind of there. So it's, it's actually quite rare I will look in my notebook and look at things that I've written observations I've made of people in cafes or restaurants or whatever. I think the act of noticing in the first place is what's the most important. I think the first thing to take note of when you're sort of observing stuff around you is to observe yourself, what you're doing, how you're sitting, how you're holding yourself, how you're breathing, what you've been doing that day, how you filled the hour, the two hours, the five hours or whatever before, before the, the point at which you're sat down making these notes. Because I think that can be really helpful just to kind of train yourself to to be observant. I think the second thing that's really important to note down your notebook is how you actually feel um, and how that feeling is manifesting itself, you know. Are you feeling anxious and therefore is that causing any physical reaction? Because again I think it's just a way of really tuning in to the physicality because that's I think that's what we're trying to do, we're trying to show not tell, we're not we're trying to to, to not tell the reader that someone is anxious, but to show it. So how is that anxiety manifesting itself in yourself? And it can also be really interesting to look back on those kind of notes and, and remind yourself how you felt on a particular day, whether it affected the things you were noticing in other people, because number three is noticing other people's behaviours and what they're doing. Um, and that can also be really, really fascinating. The way people are sitting, the way they're standing, the way they're... the things that they do as they listen to the person that's speaking, um, little mannerisms, um, can all be really, really enlightening and really, really helpful. I think all writers have their crutch word and mine is definitely nodding. A lot of my characters nod all the time, in the first draft especially. I just feel so much of the page with people nodding. Uh, but at some point I need to go back and change that to something a bit more realistic or a bit more varied at least. Um, so yeah, it can be really helpful to sit and just to watch other people and make notes about what they do, the little movements the way they react when they find something funny or find something sad or find something shocking. You know, that can all be really, really helpful. I think it's also worth noting the behaviour of animals too. Birds in the sky, dogs on leads, whatever it might be, but just um, just noticing generally how, how things move and how things react and how things behave. It's all part of the process of learning to be more observant, of training yourself to be more observant, so that can be really helpful too. And then number four is the weather, um, but I think specifically, or in addition at least, is people's reaction to it. So if it's a particularly windy day, how do people cope with that? You know, have you, do you notice anything about the way that they hold, again, they hold themselves, the way they react to the wind, the way that they pull their hood up or, or walk with their head down or whatever it might be, all that kind of stuff can just help to ground your writing a little bit more in, in the real world. How do, how do they react when they have to put their umbrella down when they walk into a cafe? Things like that can be really, really interesting to observe and to note down. So that would be my next tip, not only the weather, but the way that people react to it. The next thing that I think is helpful to put in your notebook is how groups of people behave. Uh, trying to understand or guess at the dynamic between them. If you have three, four people, whatever, sitting at a table, how are they related? Are they related to each other? How do they know each other? Why are they, why are those three people sitting specifically at that table? What, you know, and that can, I think as well as training you to be more observant, I think that can also kind of start to spark story ideas actually, you know, well, who is that? And how does she know him? Or why is he reacting like that every time she speaks? Have they had a row? Have they, do they barely know each other? Those kind of things, those kind of questions, just speculate in your notebook. Um, there's no right or wrong answer. There's no, no, no harm being done. Uh, you're not going to take those people's names and write their story. Um, you're just making stuff up. And I think the more you do that, the easier it gets. I think it can be really interesting to just note technical facts. So if you, if you learn something, if you see something or you hear something that's interesting, 
a statistic, interesting stories, things you hadn't realised, things you hadn't thought about, things that surprise you or shock you. Um, just jot it down again because uh, you can't rely on it remaining in your brain forever um, and being there for instant recall. But there is something about the act of writing it down, I think, that means actually, as I say, it's very rare I need to go to, to the notebook. It just kind of like lodges itself in there just because I've written it down. Getting in the habit of just writing down little facts that you find interesting because the chances are if you find them interesting, other people may well do as well. And then the, you'll find the notebook not only becomes a treasure trove of things which might spark ideas when you need them, but again, you're training your brain to notice these things, to find them interesting, to find what's interesting about something. Um, and that can only be a good thing if you're trying to write. So there's my tips on being observant. Thanks very much. Look after yourself.